Hello guys, welcome back to Rock App Studio. Roxon right here in the hot seat. So this is um, a new series. This is part of the the, uh, the Swift programming language tutorials I started a few videos ago. And today we're going to look at arrays. Arrays. Arrays is a very important component in ob uh, object oriented programming. So we're going to take a look at arrays. So this is our uh, playground. I just launched Xcode and navigated to my playground. I think we did that in a couple of tutorials ago and right now you should be able to launch Xcode and launch your playground as at now. You should be able to do that. So if you can do that, kindly go back to the two tutorials at go and, and check it out. Alright, so let me shut up and continue with the program. Okay, so we're going to start by declaring some array. So var, in order to declare an array, just say Var and you give it a name. What name am I going to give my array? Let's see, call to then two bracket. That is it. This is an array. So you can think of an array as, as a basket in the real world. You can think of as a basket which can contain fruits or different items. You know, so we can put fruits like oranges and mangoes and apples into into the basket. So this kind of basket, you can put anything. You know, so that is an array. It's an array that in programming we can put data types in it so this is an array. let me declare another array this is my second array and second array is equal to the same bracket but in between the two brackets I have string so this is also an empty array the first one is an empty array and the second, this second one, my second array is also an empty array. But the difference between these two is that the first one, my array, it can contain any data type, any element. You can put integers, you can also put um, a string, you can put double, floats, different, different data types. But my second array, I specifically said that this array is going to contain only strings. This, my second array is going to contain only strings so that is the difference between these two so it's like buying a basket specifically for your oranges only your oranges oranges you you're not you're not going to put any different kinds of fruits into that basket so that is the difference right here so let me start by adding some things into our array my second array so my second array dot append so if you want to add element into the array we say appending you are appending elements into the new ones so append so now right now I want to append and look at here it's it says S code is showing us that new element and the type of the element is string so it's saying that we can only append new element that is string into the second array so let me tap on it and right now append rocks it okay so I just appended rocks into my second array so that is as you can see on the right hand side, Roxen is right here. So Roxen has been added to that array. Let me also append my second array dot append Britney. Britney. Okay, let me also append Roxen my second array dot append Peter. And lastly, let me also append my second array dot append Felicia okay so these are names of my friends and my my loved ones all right so as we can see on the right hand side the first one I appended I added Roxen to the array and on the second line I added Brittany to the array but Roxen was already in it so right now we can see I have Roxen and I have Brittany in the array and the third one I also added I appended Peter to the array and the array already contained Roxen, Brittany and Peter or contained Roxen and Brittany before and now I added Peter to the array and the fourth line of code this line of code also Roxen, I, Roxen, Brittany and Peter were already in the array and I appended Felicia to it so that is array you can append keep appending data but the second array should only be string it's only string that you can append to that particular array so what if I have like 10,000 or millions of items in the array? How do I count? How, how will I know the number of elements in, in my array? It's so easy. You just call my second array dot count. So that as you can see here, dot count gives us 
returns an inti integer. So dot count is going to print. It's going to count all the elements in the array, and it's going to give you the number. So it's an integer here. So we have four elements in the array. So we're counting. If you want to count the number of items in there, this is going to be very useful in future tutorials. So take note of it. If you want to count the number of items in the array, you call the count my array dot count, and it's going to give you the number of items in the array. All right, what if I want to get the first item that I put in the array? How do I get it? So the same thing we do my array dot first. So that first is going to give you the first item that was appended in on into the array. So that is the first item I added to the array was Roxon, and Roxon is right here. So the first, in the same way, if you want to get the last item that was put into the array, the same way you call my rox my 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 second array dot last right here and the last item that was added to the array was Felicia as you can see right from here so Felicia was the last name that was added to the array the last string that was added to the array and you can see right okay let me go down here and try to append different thing so my second array dot append apple okay right now I've appended apple right here so let's check the number of items in the array my second array dot count which gives us five items here that means five elements I just added one apple so we have five items here but up here we had four so you see the difference and let's see that the item the last item that was added to it my second array dot last so this is also going to print apple because apple was the last name that I added to the array so that is it what if i i want to take something or delete something from the array if i want to remove something from the array what do i do so the same thing you call my second array dot remove remove we have some so many uh options right here remove all that means you want to remove all items from the array you want to make it zero you want to clean or delete everything from the array it's going to remove all then remove all keep capacity this one too the same thing is going to remove all by determining whether you should keep the capacity of the array or not and remove at index uh, in arrays all the items we have are, are, are in, in something a range that we call index so in the items they start with zero all the arrays start with zero so the first item that was put into the array was Roxon. so Roxon is at index zero and the second one that was appended onto into the array was Britney. So Britney is at, at index one. So in that order. And the third thing that was appended onto into the array was Peter. Peter is at index three. Index two, sorry. So that's how it starts. Roxanne at index zero, Britney at index one, Peter at index two, and Felicia at index three. And now Apple. So Apple at index 4. So that's how it works. So that's the index. So if I want to remove an item at index, I specify which index do I want to remove. So if I want to remove, already we have some functions for the first and the last. So we can use that one already. So if you want to remove the first one here, if you want to remove the first one, then it's easy. You can just call that one and to remove the last item. It's going to remove the apple. So let me, let's try that one. Remove first which is going to remove the first one Roxanne from the array so now let me print the content of the array let's see my second array so now let's see the content let's check the oh, now Roxanne is no more so Britney is first at index 0 Peter at index 1 Felicia at index 2 and Apple at index 3 so that is how it works it removed the first item the same way you can remove the last item my second array dot remove at last it's going to remove Apple from the end of the array exactly like that so now let's count my second array dot count my so let's count the item so now we have three elements in the array so that is how you it works and it can also remove from range my second array dot remove from range remove at the index actually so you can also remove provided you know so it starts with zero if you have four elements in the array that means the the index is from zero to three 
if you have five elements in the array, that means the index is from zero to four. You should take note because sometimes if it exceeds the the index, is there's going to be an error. Xcode the app is going to crash, so you should know that. So you should check and count the number of items in the array before you know at which index that you want to remove. So that is it. Let me remove. Now I know I have three items. That means the index is up to two. So I want to remove at index two. Yeah, and Felicia was at index two. So it removed the item from index two. So that is basically an array. All right, let me declare different array. Um, my integer array, my int array. So my int array is going to contain numbers. One, two, five, nine, zero, ten. Okay, so this is another integer, but this this contains sorry, this is another array, but this contains numbers. It contains integers. So you can declare array for any data type to contain images, to contain files, to contain anything. So as we, we, we go on in the future tutorials with more advanced programming we we'll get to understand each one of them it can contain any data types any data types but for now let's focus on the basics so this is an array my int array this contain this is an array which contains integer oh uh, i believe we can practice now so now remove number 10 from the index and let me see right quick i'm waiting for you i'm also doing it then you look on my after that so my int not to remove there are two ways we can do it either we count the number of items in the array then we remove the last one or we just call the remove at last and it's gonna fix it so that remove last and we're going to move, remove the last element so 10 has been removed let's bring the content and see my int array you can you can see right from here is that 10 is no more so we have 1 2 5 8 and 0 10 is no more 10 has been removed so that is the array it can contain different different data types so that is it all right guys so that's that so i decided to introduce you guys to arrays so that's arrays you can append data into the array you can add data into the array by appending and you can also count the number of items in the array you can check the first element that was added into the array you can check the last num the last item or the last element that was added into the array you can keep appending data you can count the first the last and you can also remove you can remove from the last item that was added you can remove the first one that was added you can count the rest and you can also print so that is array guys if you have any problems, just leave a question questions below in the comment box, and I'm going to attend to it. If you have any problems, just holler back. I will, I will answer you guys. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends, your family, and your loved ones, man. This is Roxen. I'm out.